Tyler from 10thumbspro.com. New guitar every single Monday. Hit subscribe if you like this kind of content. Never miss a lesson. Today we're talking blues, rhythm, we're talking chords, and basically how you can use different chord shapes to make a very dynamic and interesting 12 bar blues that's just chords. You know, nothing overly fancy, just chords, but cool chords. Printable tabs about becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes. You'll also see them in the description as well as my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons and our other social networks. Grab your guitar brain attention span, follow me on in, and let's explore the fretboard together. Come on in. If we strum through a blues, just a basic one, our three basic cowboy chords are E7, A7, and B7. And a basic turnaround would be four strum patterns on E7. Two on A7, this measures five and six. Back to E7 for two. Here comes B7, followed by A7, E7, B7. And so that's our turnaround. You can see though with a big guitar like this, powerful, you know, a big sound. It sounds a little muddy. There's some things we can do to find some other cool places on the guitar to clean that up a little bit. And so we're really just looking for other E7s on the fretboard. So the foundation for our rhythm over our principal E7 is gonna be this. Bass pull up one and two and three four so thumb then these three fingers are going to play g b and e one and two then on the and you're going to use your thumb and those three three fingers one and two and three four When we get up here though, we're gonna do a triplet, do, 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 and we're gonna play th seven, six, seven as triplets, do, 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 do. Then we get back to the seventh fret here on the second beat, triple two. And we're gonna use these two fingers to pluck six and seven together on the and, triple two and three, four. So af after the triplet, we're going to use thumb again on the second beat. Then we're going to play seven and six together, or six of the uh, D, seven of the G together on the and. Tripola, tripola, two, and. Tripola, two, and three, and. And we're going to give it a little tap on the three, then pluck it again on the and. Tripola, two, and three, and four. Give you time to get back to this chord. Our second chord is going to be this E7 here, which is based off the C7 cowboy shape. Seven, six, seven. It's E, so you could get that low E in there, but it sounds a little muddy if we do. So we're going to do just these three, and we're going to start off with the triplet, thumb, index, middle, seven, six, seven. On the second beat, thumb is going to grab the seventh fret of the A. And then on the and, we're going to pull up and play six and seven on the D and the G strings. And then let it ring. Tripola, two and three, four, boom. Back in the top. You could do it two times in a row if you wanted to because it would fit in a measure, but we're going to do it just. All right. 
So with this E7 into this chord, we get nice and slow. One and two and three, four, triple a two and three, four, back. All right. Let's think about something like the, the A shape. Well, up here, we have an E based on this shape. A, B flat, B, C, D, E. But we're not playing E, we're playing E7. And an E7 would look like that. An E minor looks like this. So we get E minor, E major, E minor, E major. That's interesting, and we can play off that idea. So, so the groove for this chord sounds like this. Very cool, right? Eighth fret, middle finger, B string. This is the minor third, and it's in our scale. But the G sharp is in our chord. So we're going to hammer on eight to nine on the B string. Then our index finger is going to grab the B note on the seventh fret of the E string. Right after that, your ring finger will go back to the ninth fret of the B, then roll over and grab the ninth fret of the G string, which is, you guessed it, our E note, our root note. So we get, cool. It's like, not really a triplet, you could do, but it's more of a really quick hammer on. One and two. You land on the ninth fret B string on the second fret, and then roll over to the E note on the and. One and two and three, four. So we get. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this E7 between those two chords. So we get one and two and three, four. From there, we're going to our A7. Now, what's cool about learning these tricks is if you learn to move them, you can reuse them. Our E7 trick here, this is an E note, can be an, our A7 trick here. Just find the root. A and replicate the trick. Cool, right? The E minor trick, or the E major trick that we were doing here, if you wanted to make it an A, you would find your A root, which would be right here, and replicate the trick here. I want to show you those, but I also want to introduce something new so we can, you know, keep it moving a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this shape here and use our sixth intervals. So we're going to go this A7 shape based on our E7 here, our cowboy shape, same rhythm as our E7. One and two and three, four. So, real quick, one and two and three, four. Thumb, pluck, touch. One and two, one and two and three, four. Okay? So, what we got going over the E7? Here we're going to go. Slide from four to six on the G string. Index finger will play the fifth fret of the high E. One and two. Second beat, seven and seven. One and two. We're going to go one and two and, 
Then we're gonna play seven and seven twice. Then we're gonna slide it up and play nine and nine here. If you make an A7, you can see that this finger is playing the note we're sliding into. And of course, this finger is fretting the fifth fret here. So you can do this as well over any chord. It's called sixth, it's using six for rhythms. I did a link, I'll put a link here. I did a video on it before. It's just a really nice tool to have in the tool belt. One, one, and two, and three, and four. Back to our E7. All right, so now we have the turnaround B, A, E, B. A lot of ways we can do this. You can replicate any of those ideas for this B, A that we've done, right? This E7 here. This idea, you do it up here, right? They're all gonna work because they're all just chords and we're just moving them around the fretboard and we're using chords to create more dynamic rhythm. But we're gonna use some arpeggios and we're, they're gonna sound like this. All quarter notes, nothing fancy. We're gonna start on the seventh fret of the E string, root note. And then we're gonna play six and nine on the A, major third and fifth. And then we're gonna finish on the flat seventh, which would be the seventh of the D string. If you wanna make that an A, everything moves down two frets. Five, four, seven, five. All right, and then we get to our E. And to take it home, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just the same basic E strum pattern we've been doing, one and two and three, four. But then we're gonna slide all the way up to the 14th fret of the A. And we're going to play the 14th on the one, 13, 14 on the and, one and two and. And let it ring. One and two and three, four into the top. All right, full 12 bar, breaking it down. Measures seven and eight will be the same as one and two. All right, one, two, three, four. Pretty big difference then. But the idea isn't that you necessarily play those 12 verbatim, is that you have these shapes so now you can start to mix and match them any way you want. start to have fun, treat them like chords, and play with them. All right, 10thumbspro.com. Catch you next Monday for our next guitar tutorial. Take care. All right, so now you are a guitar pirate. You can explore that fretboard land ho and find all kinds of hidden E7s, A7s, B7s, A7s, E7s, B7s, uh, three sevens would be three sevens would be the amount of chords that you need to play a 12 bar blues. I don't know. This is the end. I'm tired. I hope you dig it. Until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Catch you next Monday for guitar. Ukulele Wednesday, Saturday. Take care. Keep it piratey.